Hi, my name is Dave Martell. I'm a professor of paleobiology. First of all, I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Tony Butcher, and he's going to explain some of the work that we do on microfossils. I'm Dr. Tony Butcher, and I'm the course leader for the BSc Honours Paleontology degree course here at the University of Portsmouth. Uh, we've been running a dedicated paleontology course for 25 years, and today we'd like to introduce you to some of the uh, analytical equipment that we have for research and teaching. In paleontology, we use the electron microscopes in particular to be able to look at fossils at very different scales to what we'd be usually be able to look at under normal light microscopes. Students are actually uh, trained to use the equipment as part of their coursework and uh, we actively encourage this because it's a really good employable skill to have on their CVs. So now I'm going to pass you over to my colleague Professor Dave Martill who's going to talk to you about some of the other aspects of our paleontology course. We cover a lot of ground here in the paleontology degree. We have to teach you how to be a geologist, we'll do that in the first year. We have to teach you how to work in the field and we go on as much field work as we can, sometimes to exotic places like Germany and Morocco uh, and we find some wonderful fossils. One of the more common fossils that you can find are shark's teeth, but not always as big as this. And here's a shark vertebra. These are from a Cretaceous shark that was almost as big as Megalodon. This here is the femur of a dinosaur called Spinosaurus, one of the more famous of the meat-eating dinosaurs. Not all of the fossils that we study are vertebrates. There are some fascinating invertebrates as well. This one is rather precious, very, very delicate. And this is a trilobite. It's from the Devonian period, it's about 400 million years old. This is from Morocco. Beautiful, spiny trilobite. We do quite a lot of research uh, in paleontology here in the department and we like to involve our students in that research and this is something that one of my master's students uh, uh, did. This is a 3D printout of a scanned vertebra from a pterodactyl. We scanned these bones in a CT scanner and we revealed the internal structure and what you can see is that in order to strengthen these very light bones it has spokes like a bicycle wheel on the inside of the bone. So that's just a little bit about the things we do here, just a little flavour of our course. And I look forward to seeing you in the autumn of this year.